for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember that the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, in the recent past, we have the King of Wands. Now, in terms of love, the King of Wands is a very good card in the tarot. This card signifies that someone you cared about also had protective and caring feelings about you. And also, they were willing to work hard, if necessary, to make the relationship work. You could have been more than usually focused on your own work or career at that time. But you also made time for romance, even if you were single at that time, because you knew that you'll end up with work being the only thing in your life. And this card is paired with the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords could be about something troubling you with regard to your relationship. Don't ignore your gut feelings. If you feel that something in your relationship is not healthy, you're more than likely correct. And this would have been in the past. Also, if you suspected that something was going on behind your back, your best bet was to ask your partner about it. Now, if you've recently met someone at that time, in the past, you didn't get too carried away that believing all is what it seems to be. You also knew that trust took time to develop and you were not too much in a hurry. And that's your past and we move on to the present. The temperance card. Often with the temp temperance card, often before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships. You need to have peace within yourself. So, take a look at what you feel guilty about. Mis mistakes that you feel you've made in your past. Then make sure to forgive yourself and let them go. It's the only way you can truly move forward and make progress. And we have this card paired with the Lover's card. Now when this card appears in a reading, it usually means this time is likely to bring love in big, bold, capital letters to the center of your life. Now, this is either a new relationship or a powerful, rebonding, old one. Someone from the past. Either way, you will definitely be very happy about how romance is going. And others will likely remark or state that you are glowing. Now... This is serious stuff. It could mean even in a new relationship where you are meeting each other's families and talking about forever or marriage. Then again, share your joy with those around you who need it because life will feel blissful to you now, which is a wonderful thing. So with these two cards paired together, 
the temperance card is letting you know to release the re release any any bad vibes or mistakes from the past so that you can move on to the lover's card that it's paired with joy and abundance and love uh, you could meet someone or you could meet someone new or the relationship that you're in could be going to much higher levels such as marriage or engagement so you need to let go of any past mistakes and that's going to be the present now we move on to the challenge the three of swords now with the three of swords when it comes to love this card it doesn't have to be the end of, of a relationship but it does almost point to relationship difficulties so in order for the relationship to survive both parties must be willing to work on it and talk about the relationship so you may find that someone you thought cared about you is not as loving as you had supposed something like that could could be the case but don't take it too personally or dwell too long on that if this is the case it may not be now just know that you are being guided to the relationship that is right for you you cannot force something to be right and this card is paired with the knight of swords now the knight of swords it's basically about someone, a person, being to you that wants to sweep you off your feet, whether you're a male or female. Now, if you're currently in a committed relationship, it may be about to brighten up quite a bit and become a whole lot deeper and more satisfying. Now, if you're looking for love, it may come along when you least expect it, but you have to be having some sort of contact with other people for the doors to open. So make sure you get dressed up, go out on the town, and have a blast. Now, with these two, care, with these two cards paired together, the Three of Swords is letting you know that if you're in a relationship, it's not the end of it, but you may have a lot of issues and difficulties in that relationship that needs to be discussed and worked on because it's paired with the Knight of Swords, meaning that if basically if you're single, someone could be right around the corner looking to sweep you off your feet if you're a male or female. So always be prepared, look your best, dress your best, go out on the town. And that's gonna be your challenge. Now we move on to the outcome, the Eight of Wands. So when the Eight of Wands appears, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem to be coming your way. Again, you must not push someone before they're ready. You cannot get your needs met by force. Remember that. So distract, distract yourself if necessary. And your beloved one or your lover may be back to you sooner than you know it. Offering the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. And we have this card paired with the Queen of Cups. Now, when it comes to love, this card, it often indicates a very positive outlook about relationship or a relationship. Now, if you're single and this card comes up in your reading, 
it's a good indicator that you should get out more and mix and mingle as a new very positive romance could be on the horizon. Now just remember the thing is it's easy to get carried away regarding love. So keep your balance and your perspective. Even with the excitement of a brand new love, it's important to keep track of the other things happening in your life. And that's going to be the outcome. So with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Wands is just letting you know that you could be feeling like you're ready for a committed relationship. And it doesn't seem to be coming to you quite yet. Or if you're already in a relationship, focus on yourself so that your lover can see you in a different way or a brighter light. And he'll come back around running to you. So try not to focus too much on him so therefore he can... The tables will turn and then he'll start to focus on you. That's what the Eight of Wands is saying. And it's paired with the Queen of Cups, which is actually which is actually a positive card about love and relationships. And it's basically just letting you know to get out, mix and mingle. And new love is on the horizon with this card. So just Take it to whichever makes sense for the situation that you're in. And that's going to be your outcome. So Libra, thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated. But as you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you like to do. And have a great day. And have a great day. And have a great day.